There's a saying, how you introduce yourself on the internet is how you will eventually go out. Doja Cat, major pop star, rap star, she a runner, she a track star. Mm. Prior to the entire world being introduced to Doja Cat, she had a decent following on her socials, but not enough to garner her lots of attention. Like anyone that grew up in the age of the internet, you were obsessed with it, and Doja Cat was no different, as she browsed the internet for an extended amount of times researching for beats. Doja Cat understood the power of meme culture and released Moo. Moo launched her career following the initial commercial failure of her debut studio album, Amala. But unlike most artists that debut as a meme or use meme culture to push their career, Doja Cat was able to transcend the meme artist trope and is now seen as an artist that should be taken seriously. Doja Cat and Controversy are like two peas in a pod, and yet again, unlike most artists who has a hard time overcoming the controversy they find themselves in, Doja Cat always comes out on top, and actually benefits from controversies in the end. Currently, Doja Cat is experiencing her biggest controversies to date, which has me wondering if she'll be able to overcome them. She's also taken a lot of creative risk in her career in recent times, and it's interesting to see if she'll be able to conquer these new challenges in her career like she did in her past. Is this the downfall of Doja Cat? An artist's image is extremely important, is probably more important than having actual talent. Their image can range from being a sex symbol to a more relatable image, and an artist has to commit to the image they perpetuate in the public to establish familiarity, branding. And artists seldom change their image especially if they haven't been around for a long time unless constantly changing their image is their image. Since Doja's debut, her image has always been consistent of a typical pop artist slash female rapper. The fashion is palatable while still not being afraid to take risks. Doja Cat has always been consistently weird and goofy from the start, but again, her personality was still in the range of what the wide audience would tolerate from a major artist like Doja Cat. Until now. In 2022, Doja Cat debuted a new look on Instagram Live a shaved head. In the same live, she also shaved her eyebrows. She explains how freeing it was shaving her hair off, and she never liked having hair at all. I feel like I, I was never supposed to have hair anyway. I like, don't like having hair. I never liked having hair. I cannot tell you one time since the beginning of my life that I've ever been like, this is cool. I just do not like to have hair. Since Doja shaved her head, a lot of her fans and trolls have not liked the new look, and some are wondering if the singer is okay comparing her to Britney Spears, who hasn't been the same since she infamously shaved her head back in 2007. Some trolls on the internet would even say Doja Cat is not attractive anymore, which is very shallow. But as I mentioned earlier, your image as an artist is all you have nowadays. And if you take the sexy route, as soon as the public doesn't find you attractive anymore, it can be over for you. Earlier that year, Doja Cat threatened to quit music after a backlash she received from fans in Paraguay. After not seeing fans outside her hotel, the artist was in Paraguay for a festival which was eventually cancelled due to severe weather conditions which included flooding and thunderstorms. She did not go outside to meet with these fans and was consequently accused of being rude and apathetic. Doja Cat's response was to tweet that she wasn't sorry and change her name to I Quit. In a deleted tweet, Doja Cat said, I can't wait to fucking disappear and I don't need you to believe in me anymore. Everything is dead to me, music is dead, and I'm a fucking fool for ever thinking I was made for this. This is a fucking nightmare. Unfollow me. Now, Doja Cat did not quit music, obviously, and she also showed her appreciation to her fans afterwards. Now, I'm not going to talk about everything, but there are more instances of Doja Cat constantly going off at trolls and fans on the internet, and it's really off-putting. 
When it comes to her new look, she's always going off on people on the internet telling them that she doesn't care what they think. But her constantly responding to these negative comments is showing that she do care what people think about her. And the thing is, you just can't keep responding to negative comments. It only shows that these people or trolls knows how to get to you on the internet, making yourself look bad in my opinion. Which is exhausting as a fan, reading these tweets she constantly deletes afterwards. Doja Cat started posting a lot of, I'm gonna say, devilish imagery on her social media and questionable tattoos, which puts a wedge between her and the general public. And she also gets upset when people ask her if she's a devil worshiper and asks if she's okay. She also posted these really edgy pictures as well, things that you would expect from a rock star. And as I said, Doja Cat has always been weird, but this takes it to another level, so much so she was recently dropped by a brand, which people are speculating to be Skechers. I did those photos and then uh, a whole brand pulled out because of the photos of me on photo booth, like me having two heads, I think made them uncomfortable. Like if you do like, even like something creative that just does not align with somebody, like, but it's not harmful. Recently, she's also been called out on social media for blocking fans that accuses her boyfriend for being a sexual predator. At this point, it's clear to see that people are tired of Doja Cat. They're tired of the back and forth and the complaining on Twitter. Now, I get it. She's upset that people are switching up on her since her image changed. But damn, people don't really owe you anything at the end of the day not even your fans. It might sound harsh of me to say that, but it's true. And it's clear she's not doing okay with that mentally, no matter how much sarcasm she infused in her replies on social media. Doja Kitty Cat also called her last two albums total cash grabs after winning a songwriter award for her latest LP, Planet Her. Planet Her and Hot Pink were cash grabs, she tweeted, and y'all fell for it. Now, I can disappear somewhere and touch grass with my loved ones on an island while y'all weep for mediocre pop. Now, I love Doja Cat, but she needs to get off the fucking internet. Her downfall might be on the rise, seeing her new song Attention has tanked, falling off Billboard Hot 100 after three weeks of charting. Personally, I think Doja Cat is definitely going through a lot, both mentally and creatively as an artist, and I feel like she has chosen to let it play out on the internet also as a creative decision. But in doing so, she is only alienating her fans. Nothing is wrong with changing your image and sound, but I definitely think she is going about it the wrong way. Doja Cat has always come out on top of her controversies. It's like a rite of passage for her to be in a lot of drama in her career at this point. Now, the big question is, will Doja Cat be able to conquer these new waves of controversies or are we witnessing her big downfall? Well, only time will tell, as she is gearing up to release her fifth studio album. Look at me, look at me, I'm naked. Vulnerability, anyway, tell me what you think about this video in the comment section. What do you think about Doja Cat? Do you think this is her downfall? Do you think she'll be able to recover from these new controversies? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video and also subscribe. I am Don, your pop culture boy, and I will see you in the next one.